everyone welcome to my trading space i'm shaquan and in this video i will be showing you five back testing techniques i use as a forex trader it's helped me trade the strategy that i now use to teach traders all around the world now before we hop in the video please understand that back testing does not consist of your demo or live trading it's the art of you going back through past price movement to test your learning observations and track specific results that will show you whether you're ready to trade a demo or trade a live account located on the screen is a time step of the things that i'm going to be sharing with you so you can easily follow along with me so before we begin please like the video and subscribe for more videos in the future if you believe that you'll find value in them the first technique is you want to study the chart from the outside and meaning the focus is not on the strategy itself but the understanding of the key elements of the price chart and currency pair let's say you have a price chart instead of focusing on the candlesticks and their movements we will focus on the name of the currency pair by breaking it into parts and how it relates to the exchange rates you see on your price scale someone who is new to forex may focus on the candlestick first trying to cover every detail of candlesticks without knowing who they represent or why they are important to the specific currency pair so when it's time to execute a trade they have no connection with the pair that they're trading because they are missing 30 percent of the important basics where someone who knows how to study the chart will know what the physical currency looks like, how price moves on the chart by focusing on the price scale, and how to break the currency pair down alone based on its important exchange rates. I know you want to be a great trader and learn all you can as fast as you can, but you have to focus on the short-term goals of understanding what you trade, why you trade the pairs you trade, and how to understand their ways first. So there are three key elements I believe you want to look for. Element number one, when you focus on specific currency pairs, I encourage you to Google how the currency looks. That way you feel a sense of connection to what you're trading since you'll be exchanging those two currencies for profit. Remember, you're trading currencies in foreign lands where you probably have never been. So get to know what the currency actually looks like. Element number two is get to know what exchange rates are. The foreign exchange market means you're exchanging one currency for another and the key number is one. When you look at a price scale, it means someone had to pay a specific rate that equaled the price of one currency somewhere else. And we're trading that information. So for example, how much does one euro cost in American dollars today? You can go to the price scale, and you can go to the price chart, Euro USD, and whatever rate price is trading at now, that is how much it will cost someone in the United States of America to buy one European Euro. Same as with any other currencies that are exchanged. I have a video on this exact topic that I briefly go over and you can find it linked above. So element number three, have one specific time frame to focus on. I've created shortcuts for the time frames I primarily like to use, which are three, but I use one time frame the most, which is the daily time frame. It's my starter time frame. It's my guide. By creating shortcuts, it's helped me not focus on the time frames that serve me no purpose to my trading style, which is swing trading. So to create a shortcut for my time frames, I put stars by them in the drop down menu in trading view to make them my favorite time frames to focus on. Now these are the three elements, so let's go back over them. The currency pair, the current exchange rate, and my starting time frame, which helps me work around my chart before I actually get to the inside of the chart. Now, the second technique I do when I backtest is focus on terminology and chart comparison. Simply put, there are words dedicated to the action price makes on the chart, such as higher highs, higher lows, moves past, breaking retest, etc. And I compare the words and definitions to movements on the chart. So let's use an analogy. Think about a stop sign. It's a symbol that tells you to take a specific action. And if you don't adhere or if you've never studied it, you could cause a car accident. The accident that we could make trading is we could lose money. So by continuously going back in the past to study specific terms associated with the forex market and my technique, it keeps me on my toes so I can minimize blowing my account. Now, at the beginning of my trading career, I knew too many terms and I thought I needed to know them all. But focusing on the ones that were more specific to my trading style has made me understand the movement on the price chart a lot better. So if you have a forest glossary you're learning, it's best to learn the keywords. 
focus on the important actions and the definition of the word and compare the term on the price chart. The third technique I use is to focus on what I call pretty areas. The pretty areas are areas where I can see the flow of the market well, where I know I could be profitable as long as price is trending. So by back testing these areas first, not only helps build confidence, but it helps me understand the realism of how often these pretty areas reveal themselves per currency pair. For me as a swing trader, a pretty area may reveal itself less than 10 times a year on the daily time frame, and that's an area I want to take advantage of. Me naming where I perform the best, which is when a currency pair is trending, helps me also establish where I don't want to place trades, which are areas that consolidate or have minimal pullbacks, but I have to backtest that to understand and know that. Because backtesting is more than backtesting just a full strategy. So the fourth technique is you want to break the strategy up into increments. It's knowing how the strategy is broken down and which parts you can easily make come together before you trade the strategy as a whole. For example, another analogy. How is an iPhone made? I honestly don't know, but I know that if I got paid to take apart an iPhone and put it back together, well, I could. I could probably get that phone together and working as a product to be sold if I'm getting paid for it. Back testing a trade is the same. This is where we will now back test the inside of the price chart. By now we've worked our way to the inside and the focus is on the price action candlesticks. And now you've probably trained your eyes on each rule before you enter a trade. The top reason why this is the most important is that it shows you the areas where you're strong and weak. For example, I'm a strong trend trader, so my technique requires me to be strong in spotting when a currency pair is trending. If I struggle with the trend, then that should be an area I go back to in time to study the most to see what part of a trend I am not knowledgeable in. This can work for you as well, especially if you're learning someone else's strategy, because you can't take a problem to them and ask for help if you don't know where your struggle is. No one ever goes to a doctor and says, diagnose me without pointing to the area where you feel pain. So by breaking the back testing up into sections, you get to point out your pain points and your strong points. Then you can trade the strong points and get help for the pain points to make them healthy and strong. The last technique in this section is to create chart examples and pictures. So templates are safe, customized tools you can use on your chart to make back testing your charts much faster. I created a video for you showing you how you can create customized templates so you don't have to keep repeating the same actions on your chart. This will not only shorten your back testing time, but also your analyzing time as well. So I like to take pictures of my winning and losing setups when I back test. This provides me a full picture of trades that will work with my technique, whether I'm right or wrong. It also helps me understand that I won't win every setup, even when I follow my rules. But my job is not to make every losing trade work, but to continue to back test my setup and be okay when it's not working so I can enjoy my wins that much more. Back testing is all about repeating the same actions time after time again until you feel confident to trade on your own using your own money, demo money, or someone else's money. With that being said, let's talk about the mental part of back testing. Back testing is a test of your psychology, even real trading. But let's start with back testing first. I believe you should back test as if you were trading the real market, and you can do this by using the bar replay feature on TradingView. If you like a video on how I use bar replay, let me know in the comment sections below. Now, a few quick tips that can mentally help you is number one, back test your weak areas first. So we're going back to what I mentioned before. You can't back test a problem if you don't know you have one. No one likes to lose, but in order to become a winner, you have to focus on what you're not good at. So back test your problem areas first to become better in those areas. Number two, Get a back testing buddy who trades the same technique as you. It's important you don't back test with someone else who has a completely different strategy than you. Studying too much in different areas at one time can cause information overload. So studying with someone who knows more than you, especially when they're more skilled than you, can help level you up quicker rather than slow you down when you both know the same technique. The third tip is to consistently back test the same setup. Know what you're going to do before you begin backtesting. Don't go into it blind. 
you're looking for a result. And the result you're looking for is can you, by yourself, identify a particular setup successfully alone? If yes, great. If not, keep practicing. Tip number four, control the need to be right all the time because no one is ever 100% on the money. The moment you control the need to be right, you'll avoid bad habits such as being greedy, revenge training, or even having the fear of missing out. So these are my tips for backtesting techniques and mental tips. I pray you enjoyed them. And if you did, click the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys go and be blessed.